Influencers spend several hours a day putting together videos for your entertainment and the United States House of Representatives sending a bill to the Senate that could ban TikTok. Now, influencers say that this is a time of adapting. Some users say the app can be important to give weather info, provide family content, and even find a transplant. Half of me is kind of like, oh my gosh, like, what are we going to do? Candace and Wesley Nissum share a look at their family life, but the views that make them real money comes from He's making up stories. Night, it's hard to catch people's attention for more than five, ten seconds because that's how most of the videos are. And so I just sometimes will make up just funny stories that I think are entertaining and that people can relate to, uh, mm -hmm. but also... Um, can uh, attract a lot of engagement. <laughs> yeah. And Wesley knows there will always be a market for that. Even if it does get um, taken away, um, just pivot and, you know, new business strategy. Something Peyton Gowling, an OU student and former KOCO intern, says she has paid for her college through her TikTok. She creates videos as, talking as about Earth's areas atmosphere. that are going to experience severe weather. This is roughly only going to be these people are getting the information and if I'm just helping one person, that means the world, but knowing that hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people have seen my videos is more impactful from not just here in Oklahoma, but all across the country. The creators tell me they understand the issue with TikTok's Chinese ownership, and they're hopeful an American could take over to keep their income stream flowing. In reality, if it's like for the betterment of the whole country and like the, the protection of all Americans, I think it's, it's good. It's not just one person that's impacted. People have their businesses on here. I, like so many others, make an income off this. This is a job. Now the bill would have to be passed out of the Senate and signed by President Biden before the social media platform is gone. Reporting in Oklahoma City, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.